Hi, I'm Dory Levine. I'm here at Tribeca Music Studio, where I've been teaching for quite a while in New York City. And I would like to share a vocal tip with you. Many of my students come to me and want to sing very soulful music. So I will ask you to participate with me in a visualization that I believe helps you access your soulfulness and that feeling that lives inside of you and that place from where we would like to sing. You've probably heard the expression, sing from your gut. So this visualization will help you do just that. So even though I could talk about breathing for singing for a long time, I'm just going to talk about it briefly. You can start just by taking some yawny breaths. I, I recommend yawny breaths for a couple of reasons. One, they open up your throat. They lift your palate. You've got a, a hard one behind it. You've got a soft one. It lifts your palate, drops your throat, and it creates space in your throat. Your throat's job is actually to stay out of your way when you sing, but that's another vocal tip video, so we'll talk about that another time. In the meantime, I'd like you to take these yawny breaths. Yawny breaths also are your body's way of giving you a deep breath, of oxygenating your body. Your body knows how to take a deep breath, even if sometimes in our minds we don't. Sometimes if we say, okay, let's take a deep breath, we do this, which if you'll notice, it really tightens up my voice. And I call this a doctor's office deep breath, which is not really deep at all. They put the stethoscope here and we go, it's a big, shallow breath. So what you want to do is send your breath down low. You have a band of breath muscles that needs to get activated. You have your diaphragm here. So if you put one hand here in your diaphragm and one hand below on your belly, and breathe. You're looking for some expansion in this area, which should happen naturally. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to try to make it happen usually, unless you've been established some other habits that are contrary to this, which is possible. But for now, if you can just feel some expansion here, you want to feel the firmness of your diaphragm being engaged, moving when you take this breath. And I suggest you take a few breaths like this until you start to get into a more relaxed mode. And then I want you to visualize your core. Imagine that you have taken some feeling that didn't get expressed and you've kind of tucked it away in your body. And it gets kind of shoved down into your cells, into your muscles, into your being. And you can imagine that it stays in this very protected area, which is the center of your body. It's a few inches below your belly button, right about here. And I want you to imagine that you're breathing into that area. And as you breathe into that area, I want you to imagine the image of a tree. A tree has pulp inside. And every year of that tree's life, a ring grows around that pulp, protecting it. So imagine that every year of your life, or maybe even a little more often, you've protected this deep, sensitive part of yourself where creativity flows, where feeling lives. You can imagine that your soul actually lives in this area. And with each breath you take, you're going to peel open one of those layers that has formed around your sensitive, creative, feeling core. So I suggest you close your eyes and visualize these layers opening. 
and you're going to use your breath to make contact with this very important part of yourself. Again, the place from where most of us would like to sing from. And you're going to use your breath to actually make contact with that area as if it's just going down deeply into your body. And you're going to start to wake up some old feeling that got stuck down in you that didn't get expressed so that when you open your mouth to sing, you can access this area. And I hope this tip is helpful for you. I hope you'll like my video, maybe subscribe to my channel where you will find more useful vocal tip videos. And I'll see you next time.